hi guys welcome back to my channel so i've been gone for a little while I've had um loads of personal stuff going on um but yeah i'm back and i'm having a little rethink of how i do my content and anyone who knows me knows that i'm not very good at sticking to a routine like i'm very much a free spirit i don't like to have the same plans day in day out i like to just be able to work on my own steam doing what i want to do and i was kind of finding all signs readings and pick a card readings it's not that i don't enjoy doing them but like they do get monotonous um and i know i am kind of mostly known for love readings like one of my clients even calls me the love witch <laughs> which is cute but like it does get a little bit laborious so i've decided that i'm gonna still do love readings i'm gonna still do pick cards but i'm not gonna limit limit myself to just one thing i'm kind of just gonna get a message that i've got coming through and deliver it so i'm not going to know what's coming up like tonight there's a very specific message that i'm picking up on i feel that it will be love related partially but it's not going to just be love but we'll see how it comes through um but in terms of like uploading love readings youtube um shorts i'm gonna kind of focus on that a little bit more as well so there's like little nuggets of different things and a bit of variation so that it's not boring for me it's not boring for you and yeah please remember if you want to book a reading with me please only use my official links i'll put them in the description box below and yeah enough talking let's get started so the message i was receiving was life is tough baby but so are you and I feel like I need to keep, it's been replaying in my head for like the past two to three hours. Life is tough, but so are you. Life is tough, but so are you. Like I want you to actually say that. I want you to listen to this now, say it with me. Life is tough, but so are you. Like I can't stress this enough, how badly someone's wanting you to recognise this. And I don't know if someone's going through like a difficult separation, a difficult breakup. Maybe you just don't really know where you're at at the moment. Maybe there's like a, a, a path that you've got to choose from. I can't think of what the word is that I'm trying to look for, but like a cross junction. Um, what's next for me? Like I'm confused. I don't know. I, and it's not even necessarily coming from a place of overwhelm. It's just like, I don't know. Stop asking me questions. I don't know. It's like, I've, I... I don't have the capacity to keep thinking of all the things I've got to do. Like, someone do it for me. And it's all, it's not an energy of giving up, but it's... Do you know what? It's like I just said, there's, uh, there's a monotony linked to this energy. And I know I've just said this about myself, but it's a collective reading, right? So there's going to be a few people that this resonates with. And as a side note, as a collective reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Just take... Take what you will. Take what resonates. Um, but yeah, I feel like we're in a bit of a, a bit of a slump. It's like I'm fine. I'm not depressed. I'm not sad. I just I don't know. I'm just meh. So let's have a look. What's coming through? I keep hearing sandstone. We've got the sustainer. We've got the shaman, and we've got the forest. Let's pull one more. The village. Someone here. We have got the lover, so there is some sort of. I'm getting that Venus energy coming through, and obviously we're in Taurus season, which would make sense. But it's bigger than that. Someone is feeling as though they are carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders and I'm just get, seeing someone drawing a circle round and round and round. It's like these cyclical patterns are so fucking tiring. 
someone's just reaching the end of their tether and again i can't stress enough it's not like a breakdown it's not depression it's just ugh, bored 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 i feel like you've been through the motions and it's like almost like we're at hanged man energy where it's like i don't know and the thing is what you're not seeing is this is actually your gateway to giving up control some of you are definitely Taurus because I've got emerald coming through you know there's that saying of like sometimes your path is rockier because your calling is higher very strong star seed or healing energy like you're here for a reason you're in this moment in this space you're watching this for a reason and that's because you're a curious individual you ask questions you want to know more about life you always try and see the wood through the trees you're not made to fit into a box right there's something that's very sweet about you and i feel like You've always had this like eccentricity or you, you've always had some sort of off the wall energy, uniqueness, magic, personal power. And people have always tried to like downplay this or mould you into something else. It's like, no, we're not doing that. Getting Mother Maid and Crone energy as well. So a lot of, a lot of symbolism of levelling up. Outgrowing your environment. Life is tough, baby, but so are you. Someone could be on the road to, like, fame. Whether this is music, modelling, social media, I feel like you have a... Uh, and that doesn't mean it's not obviously going to be for everyone, but if that's not the case and you're not, wait, you're not waiting on, like, a forward journey when it comes to your career or some level of success, it's whatever you deem your personal success to be. For some people that might be love, marriage, children, a happy home, a life partner. For others it could be financial abundance, right? It's going to be different for everyone. But don't give up. Someone could be eating a lot of avocados. Like, you're literally gold dust. Life is tough, baby, but so are you. Let's see, what's going on? It's like even whoever you deem as the creator, whether it's the universe, whether it's God, whatever it is, whatever your reason or whoever you believe put you here, it's like they handcrafted you. There is no one else like you in this world. Got the Daughter of Cups. I'm literally getting like rainbow aura. Beautiful, long eyelashes, sparkly eyes. We've got the emperor. And I was just about to say, this isn't... What did I say? We're on hanged man energy. Okay. Feeling trapped. Getting sick of it. Just let me out. Just get me out of here. I want to get to my success. We've got the emperor and we've got the empress. So as I said, for some of you, this is about love. For some of you, this is about... Whatever it is, it's a journey. Okay. You have really matured. You may have found this catalyst of outgrowing something is due to another person. For some of you, this could be to do with a twin flame as well. But this is more about spiritual awakening that's taken place for you and made you realise, actually, I'm more than this. I'm literally hearing that. Um, I think it's... Roxy music, but I'm very, um, more than this. It's like people, again, regardless of gender, people used to view you as this, like, shrinking wallflower. Some of you, I'm getting the story of, like, I hate this, but the ugly duckling, and it's like people really underestimated your power. Like, you could even have people that you went to school with, or people that you knew years ago, even old romantic interests, or, like, I'm getting an energy, not necessarily of bullying but like people really downplaying who you are and this is what happens when you've got something extra special to share with the world 
people will often try to box you in because oftentimes other people will see the magic in us before we even see it in ourselves. I'm sure I just had someone walking behind me, that's weird. Um, and then, yeah, it's like all of a sudden you've got people viewing you from the past like, who the fuck is this? Who is this? I don't know who this person is. Like, they're completely different. Like, some of you may come into contact with people that you've known in the past and they wouldn't even recognise you. Like, there's a physical, mental, spiritual gl glow up. But somewhere along the line, your mind or part of your mind is still conditioned into old thoughts. I'm getting outdated thinking. You're not who you used to be. Some of you could have like body dysmorphia or some of you could have lost a lot of weight or gained a lot of weight or I don't know. I'm just getting like major, I, d I do want to say major physical change and it's like you're, you're not feeling great about it. It could again, weight loss, weight gain, changes of don't even know changes of hair like someone could be going gray and they're feeling really shitty about it like you need to be kinder to yourself you've always felt like the black sheep or the underdog and it's like this is you're coming into your time of like you're freaking shining and you're not even seeing I'm also hearing someone's going to be really hot on your heels. Again, if you're if you're watching this for love, someone's going to be chasing you, possibly a Capricorn. Got Aries energy here. Taurus, Libra, Aries again. Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, but Pisces as well. Someone or something is going to be hot on your collar. Hot on your collar. Some, you've got someone hot, sorry I've got loads of channeled messages coming through, you've got someone hot under the collar but someone who's going to be hot on your, like hot on your feet, chasing you, it's confusing, it's confusing, you're confused, you're sick of being confused, just as I said that like all of these messages were like shooting into my crown and this is what I'm feeling, there's confusion, again it's surrounding an offer, maybe surrounding love, like I'm sick of being strong, when is it my time, when do I just get to enjoy my life, for some of you, when am I going to be in this commitment, or when am I going to be reaping rewards, I've been trying so hard, and it's like, you are almost thinking about I don't want to say thinking about giving up but you're thinking about that hanged man energy maybe I should shift my focus maybe I need to stop obsessing over this again this is about releasing codependency and about releasing control and it's a really hard lesson to learn but it's what a lot of us are going through right now it's I'm seeing the ten of wands in my head as if like you're climbing an uphill battle and you're just tired you're just tired it's never ending the moon like where the flipping hell is the end where does this stop there's secrets between you and another person and we've literally got the same card eight of cups some of you have decided to like abandon ship on a person or a project, a goal. Some of you quite literally could have cut someone off because you've had to move forward. This is a bit like the soulmates in separation reading I did the other day, the show about choosing yourself. It's like someone's got so sick of the anxiety and so sick of the torment that it's just like, I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. Like, you literally have given me no choice. And again, this could be, it might not be from a person. It could be from a job. Because we've got the emperor coming up again. It's like, I need to free myself from this situation. It's not healthy for me. I keep giving and giving and giving and I'm getting nothing in return. Someone is angry. Someone is angry at you choosing yourself.
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius energy. They're projecting disappointment as anger, or this could be you. Someone might not be used to you, as I was saying to you in the beginning, unrecognisable. Someone's not used to seeing this more fiery side to you. Oh, I can't just flip there, where's it gone? Someone isn't used to seeing this fiery... I don't want to say aggressive side, but it kind of is aggressive. Like, someone's not used to you... I just heard someone isn't used to you leaving or isn't used to you not being there. So this could be a thing of someone who thought they could just pick you up and drop you and not anymore because you've put your foot down. Ten of Wands, what did I say? That's the energy I was feeling and we've got the Hierophant over the Hierophant which is where I said Ten of Wands uphill battle. It's like, I have had enough. Some of you have literally walked away from like who a person you deem as like the love of your life or your dream job, your dream environment, your dream home. The thing is, you've been waiting for growth and for progression and you've been waiting for this like dream come true moment. And it's been just taking such a long time and it's like you've got yourself into this headspace of thinking I'm done with being hopeful. Libra and Virgo energy. I'm done with being hopeful. I'm done with sort of waiting. I'm done with being patient. I just need to choose me. The Empress. And the Ace of Cups. I'm not getting out of what I want out of a situation, so I'm choosing myself. But this is the lesson. This is this is what Spirit's been pushing you to do this whole time. Some of you could be seeing uh, the number three a lot, also ten ten. Two two two. I priestess. <laughs> I just said two, 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 and we've got the high priestess and two ones. It's like I'm not happy where I am, and I was waiting anyway, so I might as well make a statement and still be waiting. At least I know I've said my piece. I'll just wait, watch and wait and see. What you're not seeing is that whoever you've upset or whoever you've irritated in this situation is like flying back in. By you putting your foot down, hearing someone feels like a lamb to slaughter, so it's like this change in your energy. It's like, whoa, Jesus, where did that come from? Like, I feel like you've really given someone a telling off. Their triggers, the defences, I mean, are triggered at the moment. But actually, you're doing this person a favour. Spirits just told me you've always been doing this person a favour. We've got six, six here. Six of coins and six of cups. This is really deep. Nine of Cups and the Mother of Wands. You're pushing someone to be greater. Metamorphosis, the star healing. You're really, it's like you've had to break someone for them to be new again. And the thing is, it's hurting both of you. I just heard for someone this could be to do with your own mum, with your own maternal figure. So what I mean, it's different for everyone. For some people it's love, for some it's career, some it's family life. Changes are afoot. For some of you this could be more than one person, it could be a group of friends. The thread, what I'm getting with that is it's like you're the one who moulds everything together. You are the fixer, the shaman, you are the healer. 
you've got the comic. Some of you may feel as though people have been laughing at your expense. We've got the unseen. So there's more to this than meets the eye. And we've got the eternal child. You just want to be happy. Gnosis as well. Kairos, these are all the really unique cards. Ancient wisdom, the siren, like... Life is tough, baby, but so are you. Whatever you're going through right now, you're going to get out of it. You're going to come out of it. What's coming up? Mother of Cups. Whoever is having issues with the maternal figure, or I'm really sorry to say this, if someone's lost a mum. Oh. Someone's lost someone very close to them or a grandmother. This person's going to reach out. Again, whether you're... Whether, yeah, we've got Mother of Wands here. Mother of Cups. A maternal figure is going to reach out. And again, whether that's that your mum's in the spirit or the living realm, she's reaching out. There's a very protective energy that's coming through oh this is like this portion is going to be like i'm just i'm not going to focus on this for long because this is like a personal reading for someone someone has kids and so say you've got children and your mother hasn't seen those children or your mother hasn't been in those children's lives feel like you're going to be hearing from this person they're going to want to bring them a gift they're going to want to see your children they're going to want to be close to them you may feel very conflicted as to whether or not you allow them to do this because um, you are protective of your kids okay give this person a chance That's a side note. Again, that's not for everyone. For everyone else, get prepared for anxiety to be rife over the coming weeks or the coming days, especially over the next nine days. I've got the eight and the nine of swords. Just try and stay grounded, like third eye, ascension, downloads, all of it. You may find yourself in this energy for a little while longer, okay? But there's something good that is emerging from this. We go from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're allowing someone time and space and energy to step up and show you something. And I feel like someone is going to show you a sign of what you've needed them to do. Again, I know this is going to sound very cryptic. If, let's say, if you're waiting on a job offer, if you're waiting on, right, ultimatums. Ultimatums are being handed out. You're going to be getting your answers. I'm going to say two weeks. This is all part of Spirit's plan. To <laughs> judgment and the chariot can't make it up five six seven hey of pentacles son of pentacles the lovers there we go the lovers we have the lovers card there the situation is being healed someone's going to uh, step up Someone's going to be what you need them to be because you've proven that you have chosen yourself. Capricorn Moon. Gemini. I'm going to say Gemini Sun, Gemini and Capricorn. Some of you, again, I'm getting this parental energy. So even if it's... For those of you who've got kids involved in the situation, someone wants to see your kids. Let them in. 
self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation, like I said, choosing yourself. We've got the boat, receiving what you need, progression arriving, moving on, closure issues. And that's what I was saying to you, whatever ultimatum you've set, whatever answer you get, whether it's the one that you wanted or the one that you didn't want, is coming for a reason. And it's to allow you to close this chapter and to move on. We do have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. Bottom of the deck. Palm tree. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance and flexibility. And for those of you that were looking at love. Just hearing someone may have spun a web of lies. And again, there's definitely a family situation. Excuse me, situation for someone. I just heard like, cat got your tongue. Cat got your tongue. Someone could goad you. Someone could be really like. Bottom of the deck, we have past life relationship. We've known each other before. We have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Make the effort, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Someone is definitely having an issue with a maternal figure, whether it is you, your person, a baby mother, a baby father... For those of you in love, your person is being pushed to come in and make the effort. I've seen a visual of like a red velvet dress. Or a red, like a red, like a real rich dress. There could be a picture of you and this person and you're wearing an outfit that looks like this. Or a coat, a red coat. But yeah. That's what I have for you guys. Life is tough, baby, but so are you. Love you. Bye.